We're now going to go into a complex set of recurrent varicose veins. This lady has previously had a failed strip and she's missing the ma majority of her great venous vein in the thigh. So what we're going to show is we're going to show how we can use endovenous radiofrequency ablation in the distal great venous vein up to that point, followed by endovenous radiofrequency ablation above that to ablate both the reflux at the top and the reflux at the bottom. And then in the middle part of that, we could either foam sclerotherapy or perform phlebectomies. In this case, the phlebectomies, are t the veins are too large for foam sclerotherapy, so we'll be going on to uh, the phlebectomy in the first instance. So in the first part, if we go to this, we have a nice entry point here into the great venous vein. We're just a little pinprick just coming in. So a little pinprick just coming in. First thing we're doing is just anesthetizing the skin. That always stings a little bit there. And then we're going to use a micropuncture technique, and you've got a lovely view there of the remnant of the great saphenous vein. And we're just going to come into that, so we pop the needle under the probe, and then we move le side to side to find the plane. There we are. Once we find the ultrasound plane, we get the maximum image of the bevel. Then we can go up and down, because we know in the, in the right plane to get into the vein, and we just pop through there into the vein itself like that and we can see that we've got blood coming out of the micropuncture needle showing we're in the lumen which confirms what we see on the ultrasound we pass the wire up inside blunt end first without the curve because the vein is too small to pass the curved bit and as we suspected it doesn't go up very far because of the missing great sphenous vein we can then come in here with the dilator and using good old soldering technique, we can just pass straight into the vein itself. And we now have cannulated the bottom of the great sphenous vein. We have access to that. Now, of course, what we haven't got is we haven't closed the saphenofemoral junction, and we couldn't do just from there. So straight away we go further up, and we find the entry point at the other end. What we're going to do is a little bit of local anaesthetic just into the skin here. numb that away first of all and exactly the same again we're going to use the micropuncture needle to gain access into that vein so just going to pop it through the skin first of all then we wiggle side to side to find the maximum signal strength once we see that we can then just dive straight down into the vein itself getting into the vein Once we're in the vein, we can pass the wire up. Now, of course, we don't want to open another introduction sheath, because if we do that, we're wasting money and wasting resource. So all we do is we just use some little steri strips to hold that wire into place. And once we've treated the bottom end with radio frequency, we can then come back, cannulate the top down that wire, and treat the top part. And that's therefore our two access points for a complex great venous vein recurrence.